Hey, my YouTube family, I got a bone to pick. So if y'all are familiar with the beauty supply store, which a lot of us are, you've probably seen certain brands. You're familiar with like Red and Kiss and Annie and Diane that are prevalent on a lot of your like tools and products in there, right? So I got ready to roll a set another one of my wigs and I underestimated I thought I had enough rollers in the size that I was using to get the job done and halfway through rolling this hair I got a rude awakening that I indeed did not have enough rollers to get the job done so no matter I went and stopped by the beauty supply store and granted this particular beauty supply store, I generally never patronized for a number of reasons, but I was going that way. It was the closest thing. So I just went in and made my way to the section that had the rollers. And I noticed most of the rollers were branded Diane, which I'm familiar with. I got a lot of Diane sitting over there in my, my hair stash. And... I looked and I found the size I actually needed, the, the inch and a quarter black ones. And all they had was this brand called Britney. And I noticed that the rollers were $1.49, which is kind of unusually cheap for those particular rollers. But hey, I was in there, they had four packs, which is what I was trying to buy. And so I just, I went on about my business and bought them. Got home, got back to work, started working on this wig. And y'all, if you are familiar with perm rods, they come closed like this in the pack, right? So I got them all out of the pack. And y'all, first roller, soon as I take the cap off, broke now i didn't think much about that because if you're familiar with this kind of roller they do break after a while after a while so i'm thinking maybe this one is just you know an anomaly second roller open it broke third roller broke fourth roller broke fifth roller broke before I even got the rollers into the hair, 12 of the 24 rollers I had purchased broke. I was so mad. I was so mad. I ended up actually having to go to a different beauty supply and getting some Diane rollers like this in order just to finish rolling this hair. So I left the other 12 in and let them dry because I figured they weren't bothering nothing. And when I got ready to take the rollers out, I lost another probably five or six of the 12 that were left in. So y'all, y'all, first of all, I just want to issue an apology to Annie and Diane for stepping out. I'm sorry. I'll never do that again. And normally on this channel, I have a rating scale. Y'all will hear me say mighty fine, high and mighty. At the low end of the scale, it'll be a man please. Today, I'm introducing a new rating. Miss Brittany, you ought to be ashamed. You ought to be shamed. Y'all, if you run across this, I thought that brands didn't really matter as much in the beauty supply store because I figured that probably the same company was making all the products and then private labeling them and that it didn't matter. But in, in this case, y'all don't buy these rollers. If you see Britney on the shelf, just stroll right on past, just stroll right on past. But that is my rant for today. Y'all tell me if y'all have used this brand of beauty supply products or if there are some other brands that we need to stay away from and i'll talk to y'all later 
and got the nerve to say professional. I do declare.